What's up everyone and welcome to another video. This one is going to cover how Problem was able to march his way to an 8-2 record and a first place finish in the Legends Conference of the inaugural Madden Ultimate League. Keep in mind throughout the video that this data is purely what could be seen while he was playing on stream. Before I begin, leave a comment below and let me know if you'd like to see more of these styles of videos throughout Ultimate League, and if so, who you would like to see covered. Now let's start out on the offensive side of the ball, where he averaged 25.2 points per game. Problem ended up running 205 plays, 26 of which were unique, for an insane average of 8.71 yards per play. He ultimately ended up going 37 of 54 for 811 yards, 10 touchdowns, and 3 interceptions through the air, good for just over 15 yards per attempt and a passer rating of 127.7. On the ground is where he made his mark, toting the rock 153 times for 1,018 yards and 12 touchdowns while averaging just over 6.5 yards per carry. Here's a look at his 6 most called plays, all of which come from either single back deuce close or single back wing. The halfback stretch was definitely the cornerstone of his offense, accounting for nearly 30% of his offensive play calls. Now, something to note is his bonkers 17.08 yards per play average when running tight end attack from single back wing, so I wanted to take a closer look at exactly why he saw so much success with that singular play. This example showcases how the establishment of that halfback stretch can open up the deep passing game. Musafa's expecting the stretch, so he approaches with a cover 6 setup suited to defend against the outside run by manning up the outside deep zone defender onto the outside receiver, who in this case is out of position Paul Kraus. At the snap of the ball, you can tell Safa was expecting the stretch as he shoots to the right to defend it with his user, but he does a nice job of diagnosing the play and getting back towards the middle. Now, the downfall for the defense is that this put the outside defender in a one-on-one -on -one down the sideline, which he ends up losing and gets beat deep. This results in an easy 77-yard walk-in touchdown for Problem. Defensively, he was one of the very few players who actually alternated schemes, switching back and forth between a primarily dollar approach and then a nickel 335. He ended up allowing only 16.3 points per game, good for second best in the entire conference. He also shined in his ability to both get pressure on the quarterback and take the ball away, where he was able to get 17 sacks and force 12 interceptions. 335 Tampa 2 ended up being his most called coverage with 68 calls, where he averaged giving up a little over 8 yards per play. Now, where he thrived with this play in particular was by being able to amass 11 of his 17 total sacks and 4 of his 12 interceptions. Now, when he switched to Dollar, where he primarily ran DB Fire 2 press, his sack count went down with only 2 out of 48 play calls, however his interception rate went up with 6 interceptions out of those 48 plays, meaning on average he got an interception once in every 8 play calls. In terms of stopping the run, he mainly turned to a 3-4 odd cover 2 sync setup where he averaged giving up only 3.64 yards per play. In typical problem fashion, he proved to be stout on the defensive side of the ball throughout the entire season. Now despite being dominant for the most part, he did have some trouble against a few select plays throughout the weeks. For instance, he ended up going 0 for 6 through the air from what we could see against Cover 3 Cloud, which played a big part in his loss against Chaos. Defensively, he showed some susceptibility to the gun tied offset 0-1 trap in his week 1 matchup with Dubby, where Dubby averaged 11.9 yards per carry running that one play. For Gun Bunch weak users, Problem proved to have the answer for Corner Strike where he only allowed 2 yards per play, while being a little less stingy against some of the other plays in that West Coast seam such as PA Post, Mesh Post, Dig HB Out, and the Halfback Draw. It'll definitely be interesting to see if we see some of these concepts used against him once the playoffs begin. Well that's going to be it for this video guys, as always thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for all of the support. Until next time guys, take it easy.